Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Hey everyone, I'm Matt. He has a necklace. Oh, a necklace. Who are you? Chloe. And this is Chloe. And here's an up. <laughs> Ready to do it again? Peck and with Chloe. Yeah. 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 Today we're going to make um, some Napa cabbage and pork dumplings. So we've got Napa cabbage, pork, yep. green onion. Green onion. Yep. Some yep. ginger. Some ginger. Yep. Garlic. Garlic. Pre-made dumpling skins. I know we're cheating, but hey, can't make everything. Salt. Salt. Dark soy. Dark soy. Light soy. Thick soy. Light soy. Thick soy. Yeah, and some sesame oil. What? Sesame oil. Sesame oil. Mm. Let's get started. First, you should separate the stem part from the leafy part. Once you're finished, you want to taste both parts. Mommy says that you should use your free processor. Daddy says it's good for his nice girls. Mommy said it's a waste of time. Daddy said you could cook if you want. Mommy didn't say anything else. Clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 clap. Keep clapping, Daddy. Daddy. Yeah? Those nice kids are, are amazing. They say, Mommy's better. Now I want to add salt. A daughter's daughter song. Don't be afraid. The, the soft cross out master for process called osmosis. While we wait for the soft work, 
We're going to cut our then ginger, garlic, and green onion. Dish it up in a teeny tiny little baby pieces. And then now you want to squeeze the water out. That's a lot of water. <laughs> Now you can fry out the stem part. Add some dark soy and some date soy. Once it's co cooked, you can squeeze it out again if you want. Add in the leafy part, add, add in your green onion and ginger and garlic. Add your sesame oil and add your pork and mix it all up. Fry up a little bit to make sure it tastes okay. If it tastes good, you're ready to wrap your dumplings in. Daddy takes to put flour down the countertop so the dumplings don't stack. Rap, 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 rap. Rap. <laughs> rap, 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 rap. <laughs> Chloe, who do you think raps better? Uh, Mommy or Daddy? Mommy. How about Mommy or Chloe? Mommy. Mommy? Whose dumplings taste better? Mommy's dumplings or daddy's dumplings? Mommy. Hey everybody, we have all our dumplings wrapped. We have about a hundred dumplings. Um, and we're going to eat some of them tonight, but we're going to freeze a lot of the rest. And something that's really important, you know, we got my dumplings, Chloe's dumplings, and Ava's dumpling. Um, before you freeze them or you eat them, a good thing to do is to go and just pinch all the edges. Because it's really important that you get a good seal. Uh, it doesn't matter how they look, they can have a bunch of different crimps in, you different styles but you want to make sure that they're pinched tightly. If you don't pinch it tightly, if it's not sealed tightly, if there's a, a, a hole and you can see into the middle of the dumpling, once that dumpling's in the water, it's gonna fall apart. 
and water to a bulldog. Put in the dump. Make sure to start occasionally so they don't stack. Once I boil you, then add a cup, cup of cold water. Once I boil you again, add another cup of cold water. Once I boil you again, add a last cup of cold water. Once it boils again, and your dumplings are ready. Put some sesame oil on the serving dish so the dumplings don't stack. That's a secret. Well, our dumplings are all finished. Uh, we're gonna use, or I'm gonna use, a little chili garlic sauce and some vinegar with my dumplings. Delicious. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye.